But yeah, and today we're doing Brian's paper. Okay, the reason I'm calling it Brian's paper is Brian, one of our subscribers, is the one who picked up on this and then he said, you guys, uh, he, was, he had some missing questions on the 2017 paper. And then we came through and then we said uh, that we're going to uh, fill up the rest of the, of the missing questions. Okay, and then we've been doing that. Uh, now we're on question 20. It's on bearing. Okay, so you have three schools. These schools, they're situated uh, uh, such that uh, B is 9 kilometers from A at this bearing here. So this one is called uh, three-figure. Uh, standard bearing okay so if it's three figure standard bearing that means it's taken from the north going clockwise okay and uh, you're also given that c is um eight kilometers due uh, east of, of b okay so you asked to find the three figure bearing of of a from b so the way that you do it is to actually draw the to actually draw the diagram for for this okay based on this information here you're just dealing with the uh, trigonometry so you can start by by b so let's say i can say my my point b is here okay so uh cut no north so i'm writing my cut no north is this one here okay so bearing of 60 degrees so i'm guessing this one could be 60 degrees here yeah which is good so b is nine kilometers from a so here uh i actually made a mistake when they say from that's where you're supposed to put the the point the point the uh point would be the reference point so they say from a so the bearing is taken from a so b would actually be this point here okay so it's it's, it's been some time since i actually did uh, questions on bearing that's why I'm, I'm a bit fuzzy but then this is essentially it uh you'd be having it like this okay and then you're also told that uh, c is uh due east of, of b so you actually go uh to b here and then east of b would be um uh, which direction is it uh this direction or this direction it should be this direction okay so it would be c here and then you'd be having eight uh, kilometers if you want you can also write a uh, cut no north here to just clarify things okay so cut no north this one would be east so that's why uh, c is due east of b like this okay so he asked you find the three figure bearing of a from b so a from from b so you're getting from from b here and then you want to find a so the three figure bearing would actually be the this angle right here but then how do you find this angle here uh this one is they, this ones they are not uh cardinal so this ones they're parallel so if you have 60 degrees here then obviously you can know that this angle here must be must be 120 degrees why because these are allied angles okay so if this one is 120 degrees then this one here must be one it must be 360 which is the whole revolution subtract 120 degrees okay so you'd actually get um uh here you'd actually get two hey you'd actually get four so you'd get 240 like this okay so 240 degrees this is what you'd get okay and you asked you calculate the distance from a to c so now you want this distance right here so you can call it ac it's just still fine so and then you ask to leave your answer in insert form okay so uh here what we're dealing with is uh, we have a side and a side uh for which we can actually know this angle right here okay so this angle right here we can know it this one is 240 so we can uh, say uh 240 subtract uh this one 90 degrees 150 okay so this one would be 150 degrees definitely okay so after getting 150 degrees then we can just use the cosine rule uh this is really 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 tricky okay so just listen carefully so the cosine rule would uh would, would be saying ac for the angle okay so ac squared equal to then ab squared plus then bc squared then uh minus 2 a b b c cos what a b c okay the sandwiched angle so cos a b c like this so here um what you do is uh uh a b squared so obviously you actually know this is nine squared then uh, bc squared so bc squared you actually know this is eight squared then minus two 
then 9 by a g okay so it be cos cos what a b c which is 150 here and the interesting thing you know, that you'll notice that you actually don't have cos 150 uh, written anywhere here okay so there's a reason for that uh and i'll explain to you just now okay so you should repeat this and then cos 150 is actually go to it's actually go to uh, so let me avoid uh, square brackets okay because it's unnecessary it's actually go to negative cos 30. how do i know this so for you should know uh, for angles the co the cos the cosine the sine and the tan for angles 90 and for angles greater than 90 okay so cos 180 minus theta it's actually go to cos theta negative okay so this is the equivalent that we're using here so you'll be having cos 150 here so you can also write it as cos theta is equal to cos negative cos 180 degrees minus minus theta like this okay so let me actually write it uh, legibly so negative and cos 180 minus minus theta like this okay so here you'd be having 150 so 150 has got negative cos 180 degrees minus 150 then you actually get uh, negative cos theta like this okay so that doesn't change anything you just um, you just write your stuff as this okay so 9 uh, 8 then here would be uh, negative negative uh, cos uh, 30 so negative cos theta negative cos theta would be 0 0.87 okay so 0 0.87 like this so now we are going to, to simplify so here you get uh, 81 then here you get uh, 64 then here you get uh, negative 2 then here you get 72 here uh, so negative 2 by 72 you actually get uh, 144 so you can just straight up just write 144 here so plus you can say plus since minus and minus here so you get 144 here then times 0 0.87 like this okay so uh, now you're going to say 87 87 multiplied by 144 so it's 144 multiplied by by 87 okay so 144 multiplied by 87 then uh, what do you get you get uh, I actually need some space here okay so I'm going to uh, do the same thing here okay so 87 uh, remember we have two decimal places so yeah I'm going to put 0 32 so 2 I'm going to okay the three sets and then here uh, 32 again then uh, plus this 35 so 5 I'm going to create three sets are uh, the uh, three sets here and then here I'm going to say 8 then you get uh, 11 so like this and then here you get 28 so 8 k 2 sets of 10 so here you get uh, 28 again then plus 2 30 so 0 k 3 then here you get 7 plus 3 then you get uh, 7 plus 3 equal to 10 okay so you simply add uh, these so you get 8 you get 2 you get 5 you get 1 you get 2 here you get 1 okay so two decimal places you have like this okay so it would be equal to it would be equal to then here you get 5 here you get uh, uh, 14 right and then plus 125.28 like this okay so uh here adding these obviously 145 plus um, 125 you'd get uh, 170 so this one would be equal to 170.28 but then that's not what you want okay so you actually want ac so ac would be equal to square root of 170.28 like this so you asked you uh, leave your your answer in set form so your answer in set form would be equal to uh, here you can actually just straight up write this as 170 uh, then you say 28 over over 100 okay so this one would be over over 100 like this then square root 
Okay. So here would be equal to. Now I need some space here. So I'm going to wipe off this part here. Okay, so and then I'm going to repurpose it. So you actually get AC equal to um, one seven zero two eight divided by by ten. Okay, so this one would be under square root. So after getting this, you have to leave this in uh, set form. Okay, so this is kind of the the hard part that you have to do. So I'm going to uh, copy this, and then we are going to do it in a in a um, fresh sheet okay so this one is definitely on, on some certain of it and uh, we actually have to to copy it and then use it uh, somewhere else okay so what I'm going to do is to so I'm going to paste it here okay so we're going to deal with this and then I'm just going to turn off my layer a little bit so this is what we have and uh, here is how you change it to a set form if you still remember we actually did this and uh, you first have to express this in terms of the product of the, the prime numbers okay so this one was a difficult paper it's ending in 8 so obviously 2 is a factor so 2 into 7 10 then you get uh, 8 remember 1 then here you get 5 then here you get 1 then here you get 4 okay so two into this you get four, you get two, remember one, then into eleven, then you get um, uh, five, remember one, then into this you get seven. Okay, let's try three. We're not really sure, but let's try three. So three into this, then you get into four, you get one, remember one, then into twelve, you get four, into five, then you get one, remember two, then into twenty-seven, you get what? You get uh, nine. Okay. So I'm going to try again uh, 3. So 3 into 14. Uh, you can try only a uh, piece of paper because I can rub. Okay, so you'd have to uh, do try and error for this one because it's not very obvious. So yeah, I can say into 14. Then I get uh, 4 here, remember 2. Then I get 7 here. Then I get uh, 3 here. Okay, so th this was a tough question. But then here you can uh, see if there's a trick that we used to, to do whenever you have a number so for example 43 and then you're multiplying this by 11 then you just say 4 plus 3 then you get 7 so it would be 473 okay so here by inspection i could tell that 11 is a factor so i'm going to say 11 into this one then i actually get uh, 43 okay so 43 is a prime number prime number 43 43 is a prime number so obviously you'd have to finish off with 43 here and then just get one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say AC equal to then this square root here. I'm going to do it the same as we did previously, where you actually pay up these numbers. So you get 2 squared multiplied by 3 squared multiplied by 11 multiplied by 43 like this. Okay. So always divided by, by 10. So here you get uh, square root of this and square root of this. So you get 2 and 3 coming outside. Then you have uh, 11 and, and 43 here. Okay. 11 and 43 here being hopeless so over over 10 obviously so here you get uh, 6 square root of so you can just straight up write 473 here okay so since you cannot uh, further figure out anything from there okay so divide by 10 so the answer would finally be 3 square root of 473 divided by 5 okay so in the sense that uh, 2 into 6 then you get uh, 3 2 into this then you get 5 so this one here would be your final answer this was a very difficult paper okay so this was really difficult but then this is essentially how you do you'd go about it so you're supposed to recognize that you're supposed to use cosine rule and then afterwards to recognize also that the reason we use cosine rule is we have two sides and an angle that's sandwiched by the two sides you could tell the angle just by basic trigonometry, okay? Allied angles and all that. And then afterwards, now, we actually had to express our number in terms of the product of the prime numbers. And then afterwards, we had to pair up the prime numbers and then see what would uh, remain under the square root. And then finally, we got this one, okay? So it was 
a very tough question but then that's just about it uh, for this for this question and uh, we're going to stop here since this one was a long question and then we are going to pick it up from from um, you know later questions so thanks so much for watching make sure you like share and subscribe uh, you brought out mm -hmm.